In this video, you'll see how to automate image creation in AWS using EC2 Image Builder. With this service, you can create image pipelines for producing Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud or EC2 images, customize image recipes with the operating system and components you need, and test images before deployment. To get started, let's navigate to AWS Identity and Access Management, or IAM, to create a role with the permissions needed to use EC2 Image Builder. Select EC2 as the use case for the role and proceed to the next step. Two policies are required for using EC2 Image Builder. First, search for and select EC2 Instance Profile for Image Builder. Next, search for and select Amazon SSM Managed Instance Core. This policy allows Systems Manager to perform actions on instances created with EC2 Image Builder. Now that both required policies are selected, proceed to the next step. For the purposes of this example, let's continue without adding any tags. Name the role and then create it. Now that the role has been created, let's navigate to EC2 Image Builder to create an image pipeline. An image pipeline defines all aspects of the process to customize images. It consists of the image recipe and infrastructure configuration, distribution, and test settings. The image recipe defines the source image and additional components that will be used to build the output image. The source image can be based on Amazon Linux, Windows, Ubuntu, RHEL, SUSE, or Cent OS. In this case, let's use Amazon Linux for the image operating system. Next, let's browse our managed images and select one to use as a base. As you can see, we have images with different versions of Amazon Linux to choose from. Let's use the image with the most recent version. Next, you can create components to add to your image recipe. Build components are orchestration documents that define a sequence of steps for downloading, installing, and configuring software packages. They also define validation and security hardening steps. Amazon includes an example build component document that runs as a simple echo script. You can edit it inline or run any other startup scripts here. You can save any build components you create to EC2 Image Builder for use in other custom images. Let's close out this example and return to the pipeline creation screen to browse our existing build components. For this example, we'll use a saved version of the Defense Information System Agency's security hardening component known as the Security Technical Implementation Guide. STIG. Let's find it and add it to the image recipe. As you can see, the STIG component is now included. Now let's do the same with a previously saved Docker build component. These two components are now included in the recipe and will be run during the process of building custom images. Further down the page, you can also add or create test components. This type of component lets you define custom tests to validate the functionality, security, and performance of your images. As you can see, test components and build components are created using the same interface. Here, the example definition document is for a test component. Let's close out of this example and return again to the pipeline creation screen. Let's browse for pre-existing tests to add to the image recipe. For this example, we'll add a simple boot test to ensure that the custom image starts up properly. Now that we have defined the image recipe, the next step is to configure the pipeline. First, specify a name for the image pipeline. Next, add the IAM role we created earlier to associate it with the instance profile. Next, specify the frequency at which the image pipeline produces new images. The pipeline can be run manually or automatically using a schedule builder or cron expression. Let's use the schedule builder. For the purposes of this example, schedule the pipeline to execute weekly, every Monday at 12 o'clock UTC. Optionally, you can specify infrastructure settings for instances that run in your AWS account. 
For instance, you can choose the instance type or define an Amazon Simple Notification Service, or SNS, topic to receive a notification when a pipeline is executed. For our purposes, let's move on. You can choose to associate a license manager configuration with this pipeline. This grants users a predefined number of licenses with which to execute the pipeline and launch instances using its custom image. Next, provide a name for the custom image that will be output by the pipeline. Review your settings and create the pipeline. The pipeline has been created. Notice that it has not yet been executed since the predefined time we scheduled it for earlier has not yet arrived. Let's execute the pipeline manually. As you can see, the pipeline has now been executed. Let's take a closer look. During execution, the pipeline goes through several stages, building, testing, and distributing. At the beginning of the building phase, an instance is started to execute the necessary scripts as defined in the build components. Let's take a look at the Instances page in the EC2 Management Console. As you can see, the build instance has started up and is running its defined scripts. Let's refresh the page. Notice that the test instance has now started up whereas the previous build instance has terminated. Let's refresh the page again. Both the build and test instances have terminated. Let's return to EC2 Image Builder to check the status of the pipeline. As you can see, the pipeline is now in the distributing stage. Let's refresh the page again. The pipeline execution has completed, and the image is now available. Let's check the Images page to see the result. Here's the custom image produced by the pipeline. The image is also available for launch in the EC2 Management Console on the AMIs page. Let's navigate there and take a look. You've just seen how to automate image creation in AWS using EC2 Image Builder. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.